Computex Taipei is a trade show for all things PC, but for component maker G-Skill, it also sets the stage for its annual Overclocking World Cup, which is a competition made for overclockers, and they do put on quite a show here. It's a very macho setup here. They've got a DJ with very loud music. They even have models here showing off their new products. It's very much like the Formula One, but with PC components. Now I'm back here at the G-Skill booth and I'm hoping to try and learn a bit more about overclocking using liquid nitrogen. But the real highlight this year is the Roboclocker, which is a fully automated self-overclocking rig that uses liquid nitrogen. And it's actually the world's first of such kind that's been able to break some records. Let's take a closer look. So what we have is, um, in general, it's an automated LN2 delivery system. Um, it uses the pressure of the tank to move the LN2 through the system depending on what the CPU and the GPU need. Uh, it uses these two valves, a valve for the CPU and a valve solenoid for the uh, GPU. And those are connected to the mains through these relays. And this controller basically tells these, all these components what to do. So it's sensing the power that these components are using. It's sensing uh, the loading of the benchmark and it's also takes into consideration the desired temperature we want. And it takes all those factors and then maintains the stability on the CPU and GPU. Uh, the configuration is the EVGA X299 Dark, and we have uh, 7980 XE Intel 18 core, NVIDIA Titan V. So this is like the best of the best right here. And uh, what kind of temperatures are we talking about here? Uh, the CPU can do 5.7 gigahertz on this machine at about minus 90 Celsius. Okay. And the GPU can do around 2300 megahertz with about minus 65 wow. Celsius. And these are the records? Yeah, the so records far. are done at those specs. Had you tried to do that manually, how long would it, it must have, would have taken a long, long Oh long man, time. weeks. Sometimes I'll be benching for weeks when I'm going for records, you know, something's not right, or I'll make mistakes. Right. The machine doesn't make mistakes. Just dials it in and hits it, hits it, hits it, hits it. I guess overclockers would still want to do this manually, right? Do you think they might suck a little bit of fun out of that? You know, at first <laughs> I thought that, but once I started using this, I realized I can spend all my time fine-tuning the system and actually getting the best score possible. You don't, you don't miss it, though? The whole manual. <laughs> nah, I mean, you know, I felt like a bit of a monkey just standing there pouring a liquid. I tried to do it the old fashioned way to see if I could match the 5.7 gigahertz record on that 18 core Core i9 CPU. So, what we'll do is we'll go to 5 gig on the CPU and then we'll do about 38 on the cache, so our mesh. What we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the benchmark uh, Cinebench R15. Oh. Now this is a, a really, really heavy bench. We're going to run the bench. Right? Okay. okay. Not too much. Now if you see how it's running, look at that pop move. Wow. That's going on fast. Yeah, well it's a lot of cores, right? Oh, oh, oh. Do I, oh, what's going on? We failed. <laughs> Already? Did you see how the temperature, remember we were at like almost, almost minus 80 and when you ran the bench, it, it went all the way up to minus 60, right? Yeah. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to try to keep that temperature. <laughs> so I want to have, basically get cold and then keep it. So now we're at minus 81. So what I want you to do is pour and I'm going to run. Okay. Pour. Oh wow. So pour. It's like a race. Pour. Four. All right, that's good. All right, so we're at five gig now, but we're gonna jump up to five, five. All right, from minus 83, I'm gonna go to about minus 95. Wow. Almost there. Come on, any day now. Ah, oh, you're like rushing me and then telling me not to overpour at the same time. Oh, I man. know, isn't that fun? That's why the RoboCock is so easy, right? Ah. Minus 95, you ready? Okay. One, two, I want you pouring. Pour, okay. pour, pour, pour. Splash, 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 splash. No. Uh, so if you notice here, you just did 5.5 yeah. gigahertz. Okay, okay. Pretty impressive. Okay. Wow. Not too bad. You're not that bad of a pourer. Did you burn yourself? I burnt myself a little. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm sucking my thumb in front of the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can go 5.6. You think you can do 5.6? Uh, Are you ready okay. for it? Okay, I'm right. ready. So we're going back to 95? Yeah, we want to right. go about the same temperature. I'm but this time you're going to have to manage the temperature a little bit more. This requires a lot of uh, patience. Uh, yeah, almost too much. Too much. 
Oh, uh, you overboard again. <laughs> Think about this. If you're at minus 95, you're keeping at minus 95, and you overboard, now when the bench stops, there's no load. Mm -hmm. So what it's going to do is it's going to go really cold. So you see what happened? Mm -hmm. Since you overboard, we're at minus 105. Okay. Now the setup's messed up. Oh. So it's totally completely frozen. So what we have to do now is turn it off. And the problem when we turn it off at this temperature is when you turn it back on, it's not going to boot. So what we now have to do is torch it. It's not just you get to play with cold, you get to play with fire too. I mean, what's better than that, right? See, so you want a torch? Oh god. So, okay, Maybe. you just hit a button. Like that, right? Watch the beard, okay? Oh, wow, I can't believe I'm You doing want to try to get down in there. The more and more you torch it, the more it's going to start being more reactive. So many variables. But we wouldn't have had to do that if you didn't know before. <laughs> I'm a failure. Old way? Yeah. New way. Hey. I'm getting to fully appreciate the beauty of the fully automatic Robocon. So I think I'm just going to call it a day. But at least I hit 5.5 uh, .5 gigahertz. 18, 18 cores, cores. 36 threads. Apparently that's a, a bit of an achievement for a noob like myself. This is it for my annual overclocking lesson. Hopefully when I come back next year I'll be able to hit a new record. Or maybe I'll just stick to that fully automatic machine next year if it, if it does come back. Either way, this is it from uh, me from uh, Computex 2018. See you next year.